Hey there, this is Shai Plonsky and I'm the founder of the Still Light Center School of Tiago Massage and in this video I am talking about how Tiago Massage helps when you are dealing with a broken heart or helps when you are dealing with some of the unexpectedness that life can sometimes throw at you and of course you know I'm making this video because it's hitting me this week in a big way you know life is hitting me and Tiago Massage is an integral part of my life it's been that way for almost 20 years and I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it while something real is happening to me. So, you know, I actually got hit with kind of like a one-two punch, which, you know, life that th things can kind of unfold that way oftentimes. So, yes, I got dealt with like a broken heart and I got dealt with a source of income that has been a consistent source of income in my life for the last four plus years. And within, you know, less than a day of each other, uh, finding out that something that I was hoping for in the love world ended and finding out that uh, I was losing this source of income at the same time and you know and then where my mind has been and where my heart has been and where my life has been since then so you know I have been dedicated to Tiago Massage for all this time because of Metta because of loving kindness and compassion which is at the core of this massage and yes this is energy that you tap into it's it's really the whole essence of this massage this is how you give you give from this place when you're helping someone that's how you want to help them so you want to kind of nurture and ease and soften and listen to their body and give them the kind of massage that just helps them feel like wow they've been touched with this kind of presence with this kind of loving energy and then it's been turned of course into a form that includes stretching and you know finding good pressure points and good massage places that you want to get out of tension as well as helping to move energy in the body but you know underlying all of that really is this idea of metta of compassion and kindness so that when you affect something on that objective on that muscular on that physical level you're actually also affecting so much more and in my opinion going even more to the roots of how these issues pop up but at the same time it's how it's affecting you and it's how you it, it and it is really the work that you're doing to open up to metta to open up to loving kindness and really to open up to life and accepting really the the fullness of life that life is on your side even when it seems like things are happening beyond your control and that is really just one of the ways that this massage has helped me immeasurably and you know as I'm talking about it this week you know it's been interesting this far along into my practice and into my career and in into just working with these ideas and how I feel this week because as much as yes I well really one of the things is sure I when when feelings of brokenheartedness or stress or like what the fuck am I gonna do now with you know this much less money coming in you know when I feel that come up it's not to push it away but it is to notice and honor that it's happening right now but also I have like kind of that mental fortitude from a practice from it being dedicated to something for so long to being dedicated to metta to understanding that sometimes this is just how life works and it doesn't mean that that love isn't flowing in me any less than it was before you know just kind of knowing these things it also means that I get to stay in my center or find my center relatively quickly after I get pulled off in a different direction and I can promise you that giving this massage has played such an integral part to help me do that but then there's actually giving the massage. So I just gave a massage, you know, and it's what inspired me to make this video. In fact, I'm doing this literally right after I gave a wonderful 90 minute massage to a wonderful man who's been just working so hard in his body to release pain and issues that have been going on with him really since he was a little kid. And now he's a man in his 60s and is so tight and but has had so much relief. And anyways, the point of all of this is just to say that in the moment of getting to be of service to him in getting to uh, just feel into all that love all that meta energy that is happening that is just the energy of the present moment and because my my focus is going into giving this massage into helping him and trying to do that to the best of my ability well it's like it's like a 
a tonic that just kind of washes over me, that cleanses me, that helps me to know that even in the midst of struggle, even in the midst of a, of a challenging week, I have that. I have that within me and how powerful that is in, in terms of just filling me up with a certain kind of juice, a certain kind of life force, a certain kind of energy that is irreplaceable. And you know, we can get that. We get that through doing things like meditating regularly. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't. In fact, these things kind of all go hand in hand. It's kind of like Thai massage takes something that's very personal and internal like meditation and gives you a way to channel that and bring it out there and bring it and, and you know becomes a way to share that with another person but becomes a way for you to engage that much more with life and you know and how that brings in space and how that brings in hope and how that brings in the knowledge that if these things that are without beyond your control are happening to you to accept them, to let go of whatever, you know, kind of brokenness that, that may be wrapped up in things not going the way you want and just kind of engaging in that process and engaging in life and engaging in the massage, you're creating this space for something else to fill you up. And of course it's gonna hurt for a while and of course it's gonna suck for a while, but at the same time, uh, making that space for something new to come in is real, it's powerful, it's engaging with really the laws of the universe and how things work. And then when, when you resist, when you get wrapped up, when you get caught up in feeling sorry for yourself, and again, not to say that you shouldn't, that that's part of the process, but you know, let that be, it's part of the process, but then you know, shifting into, into this other part of the process that really takes you forward at the same time and really can be doing these things at the same time, um, I just can't help but want to share just what that offers you, you know, what that offers you while you're going through something hard and how that helps you to bring in something that's even more rewarding and more what you're meant to be here for and more just like, oh, what, you know, it's just kind of like allowing for your fullness, your heart, your yourself to shine forth. You know, this is just how life goes. And, and I guess I'm just making this video to explain again how Thai massage is such an integral part. It's been such an integral part. It's not the first time and I know it won't be the last time that I'm going through something that hurts and is hard and necessary. And yet like to have that support, to have that guidance, to have that wisdom, to have that opportunity to connect with other people in such a profound and helpful way while going through that. I mean, it is just priceless what it offers. So that's my message for you today. And that's my wish for you to help understand more and more that why we do this, it is to help other people, but all the different ways that you help yourself in this life practice and in living the life that you really are meant to live in a life of your dream. So if any of this is speaking to you and you wanna just keep on learning, please check out the playlist and see different ways that you can integrate and use Tayoga massage in your life. There's all kinds of practical, technical things here. There's also all kinds of philosophical and other aspects to help you understand what this practice is all about. And if you wanna learn it in person, well then please come find me. Just check out my website, stilllightcenter.com. Check out the calendar. You'll see all the places that I teach. And if you're new to the website, then please don't forget, subscribe to the website click on the bell as well next to that subscribe button so you get notifications every week when I post a new video. Thanks so much for checking this out. Again, my name is Shai Plonsky and I just want to wish you an amazing day and if you're a massage person, yoga person, just an amazing practice and we'll see you soon. Namaste.